Hi guys, welcome back. Let's just get into it. Do you want to project, be a cloud all day of like a vanilla, edible, gourmand, delicious little snack? That's how I like to smell. And so I have added on to the vanilla girl routine because I know I did a video previously on this. All those products, I they ended up getting popular after I posted that. Not because of me, but they got popular and now like all of them are sold out and like really hard to get access to. So in the meantime, I've been using some other products and trying things out to add to the vanilla routine and I wanted to share and update you guys. Not everything is vanilla scented, but it's either vanilla scented or pairs very, very well with vanilla and just adds to the overall like vanilla, ambery, musky, sweet, like yumminess. Let's talk about just smell in general like having good hygiene is so important i mean i'm not going to give you a whole spiel on hygiene but some of my favorite favorite things for like odor prevention all that stuff are these two things okay it's hot it's the summer i mean it's that summer's ending but it's hot right we're sweaty these two things for underarm any any kind of scent like stench like mostly i'm talking about underarm are amazing as a combo, amazing individually. I use this Panoxyl Acne Foaming Wash. I use it also for acne, but under my arms, if I use this in the shower, like I almost don't have to wear deodorant. It's that good. So this is amazing. And like, you can focus on your deodorant just being like a little added yummy scent instead of having to get like a man deodorant, you know, that ruins the vibe. So that's why we start with this. Out of the shower, this Ordinary Glycolic Acid is amazing also. I just kind of use a little pad, a um, little toning pad and wipe it under my arms. And this is perfect, again, like I could almost go no deodorant if I use this. And especially these two combined, summer heat has nothing on me, amazing, and you don't smell. So if you forget to put on deodorant, like you don't even need it. This is that good. Deodorant just kind of is fun. It makes things more fun. It adds a little layer an extra place to have scent and put scent, especially if you're sweating and scent starts to get more noticeable. So the deodorant that I've been trying and loving as of recently is the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. And yes, this is expensive. I'm not gonna lie, like for a deodorant, like for real, this pricing is crazy, but it smells so good. It's not a vanilla scent, but it's a cashmere scent that is so warm and cozy. And especially for this fall and winter, like this is amazing. And if you pair this with vanilla, it's like vanilla and cashmere were just meant to be paired together. So this is amazing. There are alternatives if you don't want to pay the price for this, which I understand. I believe in my last video, I showed the native deodorant, the sugar cookie one. That was like a limited edition holiday one, but the holidays are coming back around and native always has really delicious scents that amaze me every time because they smell so edible, like a real dessert that I just want to bite into. So check out Native. I don't know what scents they have at the moment because I still have my sugar cookie one that I can use up and I've been using this, but amazing. Now let's talk about how you can scent and fragrance and create that cloud of fragrance around you without actually getting to the body care. Now we have your laundry and your clothes. I can't remember if I showed this last time. Honestly, I filmed so many videos, I don't even know, but Dead Cool Taunt. Okay, amazing. So Dead Cool Milk was pretty popular as a fragrance. It's like an ambery, musky fragrance, but they have a scent called Taunt that I don't see talked about as much. It's a bergamot, vanilla, and amber, which, I mean, are you kidding me? That's the perfect combination. So freaking good. If you've smelled like the, the Diva laundry detergent, that stuff is strong. This is pretty strong, not as strong as that, but still really good. What I do to save money, I use a plain like unscented laundry detergent and then I just add a little bit of this in every load and it scents everything and it lasts forever too in your clothes. This is amazing and it's not like too overpowering to where you're gonna get like a rash from fragrance. Like I know that's kind of a problem for people but I don't notice that with this, so amazing. And the good thing about Dead Cool is that they have that scent in so many different products. Another one being their Room in Linen Spray. This, this is amazing. It smells just like the laundry soap, a little bit stronger though. And again, same vanilla ambery scent. Very, very clean girl, not too sweet. Very, 
um, I feel like it's almost like a creamy scent but it's really good it's almost like skin like natural vanilla y so good and I just spray this I mean you can tell like I love it I spray this on my laundry or in my closet when I'm bored or on my bed or like everywhere on my clothes like I'll wear it along with my perfume sometimes these two as a combo amazing okay let's talk hair products sadly hair product that i have been using is the lush super milk which that if you could get anything from this video that's what you need to get the lush super milk is magnificent it's so good it's like supposedly like a lemon vanilla kind of tart scent to me i don't get the lemon or citrus like i, I don't want to smell citrusy i want to smell sweet I don't get that from the fragrance good to me but i think if it had a stronger lemon note it'd be a no for me i spray that in my hair like i'll spray it in my hair dry even and just put a little bit throughout the ends of my hair and that enough is like a powerhouse scent to project all the way through the building the elevator the classroom whatever you are in that is going to the room it's a very strong but it's very good and like i find as the day goes on and i'm wearing it it starts to fade a little bit but as it fades the layers lift a bit more and i start to get more and more of like the vanilla kind of lactonic creamy base notes it's just so good i the other day was like in my office working right and i'm like i moved my hair a little bit by accident and i smelled it and i'm like who smells so good i'm like looking around like who smells that good it's literally me like i was seducing myself like i don't without even knowing i i forgot that i had it in and i just got a little whiff of it and i was like that is amazing so i'm currently on back order so i ordered the big one and it's shipping sometime in october so i have that to look forward to i was using lush sticky dates and that is amazing okay they also have a fragrance but I think that was limited edition, so I'm not sure if they still offer it. The fragrance to me was a little bit too much. Like, I don't... Very, very, like, sticky caramel. Like, very strong. I do find, though, that I would rather have my scent be in my lotion or my body oil because the body wash doesn't last as long as I would like. That brings me to a couple body care products that I have discovered recently that I just want to share. Um, I'm still new to using these, but... I wanted to try out, you know, more of like a clean beauty brand. My Rosie Jane is supposed to be like a very clean brand. They have clean fragrances, non-toxic, and all that. But they do have a scent called Dolce. Dolce, I'm not sure how to say it. It's supposed to be like vanilla ice cream, like a vanilla dessert, delicious gourmand scent, right? So I was like, okay, I have to get the body lotion or the body milk and the body oil so i did and i am like a regular user of a body oil like i use the frenchy vanilla one so good i ran out so i'm like you know what i'll try a new brand i'll try a clean brand so i got this one it's very slippery the packaging looks so beautiful in my bathroom very very light scent the body oil it almost has more of an oil scent than it does of the actual fragrance because I have smelled the Dulce perfume. So if you're looking for like a powerhouse body oil, I would get the Frenchie one over this one. It's also a little bit more affordable. But I mean, as far as the formula and everything, really, really moisturizing. And I love putting this in on my body after I get out of the shower, kind of like when I'm still a little bit damp from the shower and I'll rub this in and it'll like lock in all the hydration and moisture and that is amazing. And on this is not as powerhouse as I would like. So I had to of course add the body milk. Now this has way more of the scent to it than, than the body lotion or than the body oil. I would describe it as like a sweet lactonic creamy scent, which is really good. I mean, I like it. I love the creaminess. I love vanilla. So love it it's kind of like whipped cream vanilla whipped cream in a way but with like oat milk or almond milk i'm telling you guys i was in sephora smelling everything every vanilla body butter product everything and this is the best that i got i tried the josie moran like vanilla vibes i did not like that i don't i don't know if it's just me but i was not into it but i have been scouting for you okay with that i think we're finally ready to move on to probably the most exciting part fragrance okay of course we have all of these layers on we're building up i feel like right now we have a good like ambery musky base and then now we want to add on our signature vanilla so what i love about the base products so far 
is that they don't create an overly like it's not pulled in any one direction yet we're not too sweet we're not too gourmand we're not too mature we just have a nice like skin like natural sort of sweetness cleanness layer we have our base down so now with the fragrance we can take it in any direction we would like which i love i want to share i think first just the two like ogs if you're trying to go for the gourmand that i showed in my first video and that's these two it's bianco latte and delicia di marshmallow by kais this one's by Giar giardini di toscana i'm sure i said that wrong i really apologize but if these dents like don't tell you how much i love these i don't know what will this one is like halfway gone it's kind of hard to see but again obsessed i'm obsessed with this one on its own this is taking you to the next level of gourmand it's like making you edible and delicious like if you want to smell super sweet like a cupcake this is it like i sprayed this in a car one time with a bunch of guy friends and they were like okay it smells like cupcakes in here so this is edible it's supposed to be like a vanilla caramel scent really good it only has like a few notes but the few notes are so powerful and delish like so neat it's as a need if you want the gourmand and again it's kind of blowing up right now so that's fun it's also pricey so that's also fun but if you can get your hands on a sample try it since the beginning i've almost been pairing it with this delicia de marshmallow this is a straight up like you open a bag of powdery marshmallows from the grocery store that's the scent you're getting with this it's so like realistic exact smell it's marshmallow but it's very powdery and sweet this is like a great layering perfume because if you want to layer this with like a raspberry or fruity perfume and then you get like a marshmallow note like how yummy does that sound let's talk about a few new fragrances that i've been trying i have three so i, I did a perfume haul and i have one more that i actually just recently got and i want to talk about these so we have our edible cupcake like i want to bite into you first date vanilla so good kind of young sweet let's move into a different direction uh let's move into i guess let's just do like basic vanillas let's do that let's do basic vanillas start with two vanilla perfumes that are like i think also kind of blowing up right now like really really popular so one is vanilla skin by fleur which like first of all i've used kind of a lot of this for how recently i got it i'm not gonna lie it's not my favorite is <laughs> i just want to be real but i do want to mention it because of how many compliments i get when i wear this like i don't love it but i get so many compliments that i had to share i think just something about it like when i smell it on myself i'm not obsessed but i guess the way it projects people are like what is that smell i wore this the other day in a conference room at work and a lot of people were like who smells so good and it was this it was this so it is good uh, according to others it's just not my fave the me this smells like a girl was wearing a lot of vanilla perfume went to the bar the next day wakes up and like this is how like the lingering skin scent mixed with vanilla that's the scent of this to me but i don't like that vibe at all like i want like a either a sweet or like a mature vanilla i don't like the whole like it's too much skin scent for me i think but again it's a compliment getter so you might as well try it out for yourself that's move on to like my favorite vanilla right now and thank you so much to the people who commented that i needed to try this it's kaoli vanilla 28 i've had this for two days two days look at how much i've used it's that good it's that good it's so delish like this is almost i'm not even smelling anything except for vanilla but maybe a bit more mature like something in it makes it mature and like i don't know how to how can a vanilla fragrance be mature i don't know but this is it this is so good and when you see a vanilla fragrance and it's purple like that that's how you know it's going to be really sweet and delicious as it ages it turns purple and it gets sweeter and richer and stronger so that's how you know it's a good vanilla and um yeah this is good this is let's read the notes for you it's vanilla orchid tonka brown sugar amber woods and musk okay i'm obsessed like i this is a great this is a great like layering fragrance it's great on its own 
it's good like if you want to add a vanilla note to anything i feel like add this because it's kind of a simpler vanilla but in the best way possible like it's so delicious i've been spraying this on me morning and night like i've been spraying it <laughs> constantly just to smell myself like that's how good it is i haven't actually worn this out yet because i just haven't but um i will let you know I get compliments on it as much as i do on vanilla skin but i'm just here to let you like this is approved by me it's so good okay. last fragrance i got recently and just wanted to share also it's very basic so i'm sure everyone and their mother and their cousin and their sister has smelled this but i i can't just not mention it it's ariana grande mod vanilla i got the sample again i'm already like i've already used a lot of this oh, it's so good something about it has like a musk that to me, and I've described this before, smells a bit sterile, which I think sounds weird, but I like it. I like that something, some kind of note in there that Burberry Her I noticed has and Gentle Fluidity, Gentle Fluidity Gold all have that same, I don't know what the note is, but something in there and Baccarat Rouge have this note that makes it not it cuts into the sweetness and just adds a layer of like something i cannot describe it at. it's like a cleanness but it's like a maybe a muskiness it's so good anyways delish okay this i think on its own a little bit basic but when you layer it with all the right things and you you layer it maybe you want to make it like more vanilla and you add this or you want to make it more marshmallowy and you add this uh also this layered with the mod blush together is really nice too i love that scent and it's like such a compliment getter i think because it has those similar notes to like bok raw and burberry her like those are all very complimented perfumes and they all have a similar some kind of note similar in here like the muskiness so it's really good um also like affordable like it's more affordable and it's a celebrity perfume like it's good it's good fragrance it those are all my fragrances i wanted to share one last thing super random but i thought i had a f i felt like i had to throw this in there it's the touchland power mist hand sanitizer this is the vanilla blossom one i can like spray it so good like this to me smells like vanilla bean noel from bath and body works and the only reason i bring this up because it's like okay i want to bring vanilla into every aspect of my life and that includes my hand sanitizer so this i wouldn't mention unless i went to the doctor the other day and i didn't have any fragrance on or anything like i was rushing and i like i had nothing on and i was just sprayed this on my hands because i like touched the doorknob and the doctor was like oh i love your perfume like it smells so good it's like sweet vanilla i'm like that is not a perfume it's hand sanitizer but that's how good it is and it's very very strong and the scent projects and like just the cuteness and like how aesthetic the package is and bringing this around with me in my bag it's like i love it i've already gone through one of these so love it that is everything i really appreciate if you made it this far please comment more recommendations down below i have a whole wish list of fragrances and body products from you guys that i have listed in my phone and I'm telling you, as I use things up, I'm going to be getting from that list. Like, so obsessed. You guys have the best recommendations. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. Have a lovely day, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.